time for Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. Featuring Chicagoland's brightest jazz star. And now, your host, Barry Winograd. Hello and welcome once again to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, with great news for all of our viewers and all of our participants here at Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. Our own Uncle Izzy recently finished checking out our new facilities, and now we're ready to celebrate the happiness of a new television studio. And what better way to celebrate than with two consummate artists, Elizabeth Conant, Fareed Hock, right here on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. All my life I've been so secluded Love has eluded me But from knowing secondhand what I do of it I feel certain I could stand a closer view of it Till today I've studied love discreetly But now that I'm completely free I must find some kind persona grata to give me data personally. Why should I take a chance when romance passes by? Why should I? As a sage who has found that upon this earth love is all that is really worth living for, it must be fun, lots of fun, to be sure when the day is done that the hour is coming when you'll be kissed and kissed again debutantes they say that it's good and every star out in far hollywood seems to give it a try so why shouldn't i so why should be fun, lots of fun, to be sure when the day is done, that the hour is coming when you'll be kissed and then you'll be kissed again. Those debutantes, they say that it's good, stars out in far Hollywood seem to give it a try. So why shouldn't I, oh no, why, why shouldn't I? This is Uncle Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree. I'm Barry Winograd. We're enjoying the wonderful artistry of Elizabeth Conant and Fareed Hawk. We just heard Why Shouldn't I? And next up, Crazy He Calls Me on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I say I'll move the mountains And I'll move the mountains If he wants them out of the way Crazy 
shakes the bow how he moves me with just a smile This is Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm Barry Winograd. We're enjoying the music for Elizabeth Conant and Fareed Hawk. So far we've heard Why Shouldn't I and Crazy He Calls Me. Next we're going to have a nice interview. We're going to hear a few more tunes and it's all coming up in a few moments right here on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. <laughs> Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree, Cable's newest home for music, conversation, and more. Join me, Barry Winograd, 
for a half hour of entertaining, educating, and exciting sounds of jazz for many of Chicagoland's finest practitioners. We'll listen, talk, and view with you an invigorating array of jazz cats of all generations. It's Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree on your local public access channel. Welcome back to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, and today we're hearing some great music from two very talented people, Elizabeth Conant and Fareed Hawk. And welcome to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree, you guys. Thank Thanks for you. Us. Thanks. Oh, it's great to have you here. We heard two wonderfully uh, unique songs that you don't hear very often, and Why Shouldn't I? And Well, Crazy He Calls Me was sort of, I guess, popular in the 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Early holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And it's kind of a new one for us, too, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, who, did, who turned uh, Vaughn? Uh, Vaughn. It was, yeah, it was just a. Uh, I knew Vaughn Freeman's instrumental version of it, and I was chatting with him on the phone last week, yeah. and he uh, he sang the bridge to me, and I said, <laughs> "Man, that's a great lyric." I said, "Oh yeah, you should learn that song," <laughs> and so I did. I learned that song. Well, yeah. Vaughn Freeman has uh, helped us all uh -huh. to learn many interesting things about music. But as long as we're talking about tunes, the, the next three tunes that we're going to hear, these two, a lot of the songs on your CD, Why Shouldn't I, they're all um, not unstandards, but they aren't the typical standard mm -hmm. that we think of in jazz, coming from yeah. the Tin Pan Alley writers of Cole Porter, George Gershwin, mm -hmm. and others of the 20s and 30s. Is that a... Uh, a specialty of yours? Yeah, that, that's my thing. And actually, I was discouraged from some people uh, uh, from using lesser known in the title. I thought it was significant because um, I thought it was interesting that these songs were, were not so so well known. And uh, if I were buying a CD, I would, it would pique my interest. But uh, I was discouraged from, uh, from calling it a collection of lesser known American popular songs. And so I just stuck with the uh, popular songs. But they are... The, not really the B-sides, but they haven't been uh, um, uh, played as frequently as some of the other well, could we, I, I think we could say they're all very solidly written, well mm -hmm. done, yeah, and they just, for some reason, there was never a hit on them. Well, you That's have a theory all. about that. Well, yeah, actually, um, frankly, a lot of these songs are melodically more complex, and harmonically, the rhythms are a little more interesting, the way the chords move. Mm -hmm. And so, in a lot of ways, they're not as friendly to the, the jam session musician who wants a simple tune with straightforward changes and a simple melody that, that is easy to improvise on. So in a lot of ways, I think the, one of the reasons these songs haven't you know, remained as popular is just because they're more complex and maybe mm -hmm. in certain ways even better than some of the ones that are just standard standard mm -hmm. in certain ways. Yeah. Well, Elizabeth, I'd like to ask you, I've uh, heard you perform with a big band mm -hmm. on your uh, recording. You uh, get to work, uh, actually, you told me Lynn Halliday, who was a great Chicago tenor saxophonist, mm -hmm. this was his final recording yeah. session. Uh -huh. It was even hard to get him to play the, the, the solos that he did because he was in such poor health at that time. Mm -hmm. And um, so I feel lucky to have what, what we have documented. But um, eh, it's a, it's a, you know, the, it was the end of an era. Well, and on there you play uh, not only with a f four or five piece band, but you also play in a duo setting as you do are today with Fareed. Mm -hmm. And I know you and Fareed have been together a long time. <laughs> Finally tied the knot recently. Yeah. We're all very happy about that. Uh, is there a favorite format you enjoy as a vocalist? Is there a, a certain, do you like yes. just the duo or do you enjoy the, the challenge no, of the big band? I, I tell you, um, they're, they are entirely different worlds and I, I love them all. Um, there's no greater feeling than... Uh, standing in front of a big band and just, you know, when that thing is just right there, it's, <laughs> oh my God, it's great. Um, but I think uh, I really love the guitar and voice duo format just because mm. it's it's uh, expressive, it's uh, it breathes, it's um, very malleable and, um, and, and it's so many things can happen, so many, yeah. I hate magical. <laughs> I don't like that word. Well, no, but, but that's yeah, so all right. many magical and, things. And and it happen. probably you feel inside it. Maybe your voice is, lends itself more to a duo. It's setting a very like organic that. sound too. It's yeah. it's very close to a human voice. Mm -hmm. I think in its organicism. And it's also easier for you to practice because he's always home. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, that's another yeah, question that's for another, another day. Story. But actually, another thing that's that's uh, I think also important is that 
you know, you have a, a, a lower voice, mm -hmm. you know, and so in a lot of ways it blends well with a guitar timbre, like mm -hmm. a, a soprano, yeah. a real high, high voice might not blend You'd as well, but there's yeah. smaller guitar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Faster guitar. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to hear three more songs, and they're all uh, unique American popular there songs. There you go. That's it. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Uh, when the Whole World Was Young, right? When the World Was Young. When yeah. the World mm -hmm. Was Young. And it's uh, adapted from a French folk melody, um, and Johnny Mercer wrote the English lyric to uh -huh. it. And Moments Like This and Occasional Man. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're looking forward to hearing that. I want to thank Elizabeth Conant, Fareed Hawk for join us, joining us on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. And here they are once again on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. to be a boulevard the toast of Paris for over the noise the talk and the smoke I'm good for a laugh a drink or a joke I walk in a room a party or a ball Come sit over here, somebody will call. A drink for Mamsel, a drink for us all. But how many times I stop and recall. trees blossoms in the breeze that we walked among lying in the hay games we used to play while the robins sung only last July when the world was young Wherever I go they mention my name And that in itself is some kind of fame Come by for a drink, we're having a game Wherever I go, I'm glad that I came the talk is quite gay, and the company's fine. There's laughter and light, and glamour and wine. And handsome young men, some of them mine. Ah, but lately my eyes see different shine Ah the apple trees sunlight memories where the hammocks swung On our backs we lie gazing at the sky Till the stars were strung Only last July When the world was young Just a dream ago When the world
Here is my casual smile Playing its part Keeping the two of us just good friends I'll find a new way Hiding my heart But here is where the masquerade
perhaps by your leave I could be your passion fruit. My little island is made for pleasure, and in the cool of the evening it's a treasure. And when the hour grows later, what is greater than an occasional man? An occasional man. This is Uncle Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, and today we've had the wonderful musicality of the voice of Elizabeth Conant and the guitars of Fareed Haq. We heard five songs, Why Shouldn't I, Crazy He Calls Me, When the World Was Young, Moments Like This, and Occasional Man. So until next time, I'm Barry Winograd saying support live jazz, and we look forward to seeing you right here on Uncle Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree. Thank you.